y'all and welcome back to day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas series. I can't believe we're almost at the end. Today I'm working on a 20 ounce straight tumbler from the tumbler supply store, but I used a tumbler that I stripped. I was trying to use up what I had and I gave it a good strip and then I sanded it really well and then I spray painted it pink and then I'm going to glitter it using my Crystalat glitter glue. I just applied that all over and even though you can see where it's spray painted the rough texture underneath I knew that covering it with glitter you would not be able to tell in the end. So I am using Pucker Up from Diamonds and Dust today and I'm just going to cover and coat the whole entire tumbler and then I'm going to roll it on my notebook paper just to make sure that it is nice and smooth and then after that is dry I'm going to take my crystal Lock glitter glue that I watered down with 50% water and I am going to seal that and let it dry. Then after that is dry, I'm going to go in with two coats of epoxy to make sure that it is completely smooth before we add the vinyl. I am working with this adorable gift present vinyl from AB Designs Co. It's not necessarily Christmas related, but you could use it for any holiday, but it is what inspired this whole entire tumbler. So I knew that I just wanted a large portion of it to wrap around the tumbler. So I just cut a big chunk off and then I lined it up and I applied applied it using the hinge method and then after I make sure that is completely straight and applied I pulled the bottom and kind of wrapped it down over the edge the ledge of the bottom and then I'm going to take my Cami Page Boutique edge trimmer and I'm going to move it to the tallest bracket for that blade and then I'm going to trim off the bottom and peel that off. Now I just want to preface this next part by saying I am not a 3D tumbler artist. I've only dabbled in it just a few times so this is by far not my best work. This is not the best 3D tumbler but I do like in the end the way it turned out. I have huge respect for these amazing artists who can sculpt and make these amazing works of art out of clay, 3D, Tumblr, art people. It's amazing. So that being said, I used my Culture Sculpt from CCDIY and I just mixed it like I did for the cookie handle tumbler mug. And then I'm going to, I got these tools off of Amazon for, they're like clay tools, but I thought it might work for this. And these little blade things were like the perfect width that I was thinking for the bow aspect of this. So I rolled it out and then I just laid it down, trimmed off the excess and used my little strip for the wrap around ribbon and I'm just using it on a notebook piece of paper and I went to pick it up and it was kind of stuck so I pushed it and pinched it back together and then I just used that blade and scraped it up to work with it and it worked and all I'm going to do is lay it I don't know if you need to do something to the tumbler first but I didn't so I just am covering up that seam and then I just 
put it right on the tumbler and the way I got it to stick was just kind of lining it up and pushing it down a little bit. I didn't want to smash the, not the clay, the culture sculpt. I didn't want to smash it, but applying a little bit of pressure so it sticks to the tumbler is how I got it to stay. And then I took that blade and trimmed off the bottom and the top so it was a straight line. Then to form the bow, I just took littler strips and I folded it together and pinched the end. And that way I could make it the 3D portion of like the bow sticking up. And then after I had two of those, I applied it to the tumbler and I just kind of pinched it into the corner of the top of that first strip we put on to just kind of like make it stick together. I guess. I don't know. I'm honestly, I brought you guys along for this ride because I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just winging it in every aspect of this tutorial. I wanted the little tails of the bow to be cute so I cut some little notches in it and just applied those strips and then on this second one I wanted to look wanted it to look like it was kind of flowing so I made it a little bit longer and then applied it with like a bump in it so it looked like it was raised same thing I just kind of pressed it down into onto the tumbler and then the very last portion of the bow to make it look complete is I just took another strip and folded it around the middle of that bow to look like the little piece that wraps around in the middle of a bow. I just worked it until it looked good and then I tried to smooth out any cracks that I could. I Someone told me that I could use water to kind of smooth out those cracks so I'm not sure um, I did not do that, so if that is correct, I will have to try that next time. But I was happy with the way it was looking so far, and then I let it dry overnight before we are going to go in and paint the bow portion. I just let it sit on my desk overnight, and then the next day it was hard and completely cured, so I just went in with some craft paint and I am painting the bow and the ribbon all black just so it ties in with that vinyl that we applied and this was also difficult because I wanted to make sure that I got the edges but it was really difficult not to get it all over the vinyl so I tried with a really tiny paintbrush and then I just kept a baby wipe handy and if I happened to get it on the tumbler I just wiped it off immediately and that seemed to work. I tried to make sure that I did not miss any portion of this bow and get it all covered in this black paint. And then after that was dry, I went in and added a coat of epoxy. And that is also difficult, trying to make sure you cover every aspect of the 3D portion is not as easy as it seems. I tried really hard to make sure it wasn't pulling up in the corners. It did a little bit, but it's okay. It is what it is and it didn't look too terrible. After that coat of epoxy was cured, I went in with my sandpaper and gave it a light sanding, but it was still on the edges of that culture, culture sculpt area. I did 
sand a little bit too rough so you could see a little bit of the white. So I just took my Posca paint marker and covered up anywhere that I sanded a little too hard. And then I went in and gave it one more coat of epoxy and I think it is all complete. And I really do like the way it came out. It was definitely a challenge. I definitely pushed myself out of my comfort zone for sure because 3D tumbler, any aspect of a 3D tumbler has always scared me and it was a lot of fun though. So I'm glad that I set myself for this challenge to attempt it. If you have any advice for working on a 3D tumbler, then leave it down in the comments because I would love to get a little bit better even though it's not my forte. It was a lot of fun and I did have a lot of fun learning and playing with it. So as usual, I will leave all the information down in the description box and I will be back tomorrow for a, our final day in our series. I will see you all then. Bye y'all.